morning. <clears throat> Welcome back to Golden Acres. I lost my voice after my sister's wedding this weekend. So this might be a, a shorter video. But it is definitely becoming fall. The leaves on my trees are starting to fall. Oh, you can see the hibiscus is starting to turn yellow. And that tree's got some yellow leaves and some brown ones. Those are a little harder to see. But if you, when you get a good wind gust, some of them come out. You're leaving? Where are you going? Whoa. I think... Whoa! Now, this fire pit was not built correctly. So when we put a fire in here, which apparently they didn't really do, all the glue came off and things started falling apart. What are you going to do about it? Basically, we're actually going to put fires in it until all the glue dies. And then we're going to take it a piece. Ugh, take it a piece. Take it apart. And rebuild a new fire pit there. We're going to come back over here with what I planted with the boys. So we've got the spinach coming up. And the cilantro. The chives are starting to try. There's more spinach there, but also a couple weeds. We've got carrots in this bucket. And this, the, the carrots have like shifted and they're kind of all over. And there's definitely some weeds in there with there. Because I didn't make a sterile seed bed with the dirt. I did let it rain on it for like a couple weeks. And nothing popped up and I was like, oh, yes, I don't have to worry about it. But I found the patch, obviously, that did have stuff in it, especially for those carrots. So then here's the difference between a week. So these are about two weeks old and these are about one week old. These seeds shifted to the side real bad. These also are better fertilized because I amended the soil a lot more in these pots over here. So, and like, like I said, the boys helped me plant here. So I'm going to have to thin these out. That's tomorrow's project. Today I'm just getting over being at a wedding and helping. Because you know when you're a, a, a maid of honor or a bridesmaid, they, it's crazy. And like I said, I was sick for two weeks right before the wedding. So I'm just not quite up to snuff. So that's that's all really encouraging. I planted more spinach in these two pots. And then I'm going to plant more spinach in these pots. Uh, every week I'll probably plant two pots. That way we have it staggered for the winter. And then when it starts getting cold and the days are shorter and cooler, we will move these little pots into the greenhouse. Because it really is a seed starting greenhouse, that's how it was designed. But, what'd you find? Oh man, you found a toad? Found a toad? Yeah, I found him. Hi, I found him. He was stuck in here. He was stuck in here and you freed him? Yeah, I, I got him out for him. So we can do some more. I love him. You love him? Yeah. I'm glad you love nature, buddy. What do you want to name him, Gordon? What are you naming him? Hi. What's it? I he got me. Yeah, but what's his name? A frog. A frog. He's a toad. Toad. What? What? what so what? is his name Mr. Toad? But what do you want to name him? Don't. Eat him all day. I won't eat him, I promise. What are you ants. What are you going to Why my shovel? Yep, there's ants on your shovel. Can I spray it? Can I spray my shovel? Yeah, you can spray your shovel off. What are you naming the toad? It'll be a big toad. It's gonna be a big toad. Yeah. It'll be a have he can have muscles. So are you, are you going to name him Muscle Toad? 
Yeah, his name's Muscle Toad. Yeah, I. He does have eyes. Got really distracted. <laughs> I've not gotten anything transplanted yet. It got actually really cold. It colder than I expected. And we got another cold. So, why not? Just been sick for three weeks. What, what's another week and a half? Ow. The cat is rubbing on my toes and her little canine teeth are like digging into me. Silly kitty. But then Andrew also found this. So we got a good deal on a disc. So we'll disc up the garden area, get the grass kind of broke up and get a garden in in the spring. Woo! Not just containers. And we want to do a bunch of sunflowers for seed. And we'll roast the sunflower seed. We also had our first farmer's market. And you're like, first farmer's market in the fall, are you crazy? Yes, kind of. Um, I literally have a cat trying to climb up and get the baby. She's staring at me. Love me. But yeah, we did our first farmer's market, yes. Whoa! I don't know if you saw the cat. Just like jump up. Got to chest level. She was really trying hard not to get me. Or like, you know, claw me up to death. She was just trying to get up and get my attention. Like crazy cat. Alright, well she's got the the baby now. Yeah, so we did our first farmer's market. We did pretty good. I mean, we did the small local one because I live in a small town. And it sold. I don't, half of our product, you know, because I made that apple butter. Everyone loved the taste of it, which was awesome. Got lots of good reviews on it. I got people who were like, oh, I didn't bring enough money with the elderly people there. They were like, I didn't think you, you know, I didn't know you'd be up here. I didn't bring enough. I was just coming up to, like, get pumpkins for my grandkids or something. And they, you know, they're buying for people they know because it's a small town. So that's, that's good. We, we had a good market. Be nice to the kitty. Be nice to the kitty. The cat is now chasing the baby. So we're out by the garden. I didn't get out here this morning because, like I said, you know, cold. I feel better in the afternoons. So that's life. I'm not going to film. I'm not going to forsake my health to film with the best light. Like, it's just not very reasonable. But we'll go over and look at everything and tell you the plans. And then you'll see it in our next video, probably, because I'll just keep updating you on my experiment because I've never done a fall garden before. We did summer gardens growing up. I have a giant grasshopper I just noticed in my spinach patch. They just can't leave each other alone. The cat loves the kids. So yeah, here's spinach. It's not the greatest soil, because I didn't amend it a whole awful lot. I amended the pots. No, 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 Aspen. No, no, no. And then the cilantro is going good. More spinach. And that is chives. They're not doing, they're coming up, I think. Really slowly. But like I said, I didn't mend these the best. The broccoli's popping up, but I need to thin it. I would like to see if I could transplant some of these, like I had said earlier, so we'll try that this afternoon, but I don't know if I'll film that. I think I might just get it done when it's cooler weather and not midday. 
let things settle before you're dealing with the, the heat. So it's supposed to warm up again today and tomorrow and be back into the 80s next week. And here are my carrots. There's a couple little weeds because I didn't make this a sterile seed bed. Or I'm pretty sure they're weeds. I'm, not, I'm still learning. So. Yeah? Do you like the garden? Oh, yeah. You a garden princess? A little bit. Gentle. Don't pull it out. Don't pull it out. Oh, you just pulled that carrot out. Oh, no. Oh, thank you for the dirt. Oh, between the baby and the cat. Thanks for watching this not so get something done video. And God bless as my child ruins my garden.